What's up everyone, it's your boy Shaka here and today we're doing it. We're finally getting down on another map and this time it's the Colony Cruiser. Yeah, it's the Thunderdome, Thunderdome baby. All right, I know you guys are waiting a long time for this, but I finally got my crap together and we got ourselves a map maker that is just unmatched. Let's give it up for Atu, everyone. All right, y'all, so my first major piece of advice is to always pot into Colony Cruiser. Immediately check your tabs, see what objectives you have. If it's Colony Cruiser, head to the pods, get in there first. This is just my personal preference, but I always start running out as I pot in, just so that if somebody is waiting for me in there, I'm harder to hit. But if you're with a team, I would say maybe take the airlock route. Uh, you're just gonna have a lot more people to deal with right away. However, I've had major success potting in because you always start in the higher levels of Colony Cruiser and you can quickly get to all the loot and just immediately pod back out. You don't have to worry about your ship, finding it again, all that fun stuff. Okay, so we've landed in a relatively chill part of reactor. Down below there in the red is the sewer location. But right now we're in the middle layer of all the three levels that are in this map. And guys, let's not get it twisted. This map is incredibly difficult to understand. There's a lot of intricacies. There's a lot of layers. The audio doesn't really work well for it. So you're just going to have to take time to get used to this map and get good at it. All right, so we're at our first spot here. We're right outside of the armory. Um, don't ask me where to find the token for the armory door. But uh, yeah, that's a mystery that we'll find one day. As well as that is an area where you find one of your first raid objectives, which would be to stand outside of the armory door for about five seconds. As you'll see in a second, pods is extremely close to armory, so if you're ever trying to find it, just go to the right side of where the pods are. Another great location close to pods is the hibernator area. It has the medic bay, as well as a couple of bodies that you can check for the armory token. There's one med bag close to here, as well as in the actual med bay itself, so don't forget to check that one. Alright, so there's one body here of the three that you may be able to find the armory token in but i haven't been able to find it yet on maybe over 100 cc raids and when you're close to med bay or the morgue you're just a hop skip and a jump away from the bridge which is all the good loot which isn't to say there's not going to be good loot elsewhere i would generally say that the bodies of the ai that you kill are going to have better loot than most of the other places that you check and they're going to be more concentrated but yeah in terms of there being a high tier loot area i would check the vault for all the good stuff and potting in generally gives you that upper hand advantage of getting in there first checking that and potting out immediately if you don't want to fight anybody okay so we've made it to the bridge which is close to vault access you can stay here for the one minute mark to do your raid objective here as well no price of admission guys you don't even need a blowtorch for this vault get in there this is also another place to get a raid objective done your read navigation data is right here now y'all i don't think you want to get stuck in this area there's chain link fence on either side you can get shot from many different angles in here highly indefensible location um, i wouldn't shut the door behind you either because that's not really going to save you but you're kind of safe in here there's not too many angles to worry about but shutting that is just going to delay your ability to escape this area if you do get trapped uh you know i don't know how to help you there and hey guys if you're liking what you're seeing don't forget to hit that like subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next i'll try and get to the other map soon and as always the link for the map files is going to be underneath the video in the description below all right y'all so we're going to be heading back to the medic room area the morgue also known as the hibernator uh, that's where another one of our raid objectives is going to be all right, and we're gonna be heading down the left side of the map here. Uh, as you can see in the bottom left corner, I do have a red X for where I'm kind of in the area of the location that uh, this video is being recorded. All right, so we're back into hibernator. We're gonna go to the morgue first. When you're in here, don't forget to check the tabletops as well as those morgue rooms for the bodies to search. There's generally some good stuff on the tables. I think there's one item, maybe the morphine, that you can't actually grab from one of the body tables, but uh, that's okay. We we don't always need morphine, do we? Ah, maybe we do. All right, heading to our next objective towards the hibernator room, trying to get that manifest report out of the way. This is one of the longer reports that you have to look at. I don't know what's in there, but apparently people are just chilling, and so are you for about 12 seconds. Yep, 12 whole seconds. You're pretty undercover here, but um, yeah, just maybe check your surroundings before you decide to do this one. All right, y'all, now that we're done this, we're going to head ourselves to the farm, brother. And at this time, I hear my first gun interaction with other marauders. So that's how long it took for people to actually show up and to get engaged with other AI. And we've gotten a couple of our objectives done here. Actually, most of them and most of our looting. Anyways, let's go check out the next objective, which would be the farm report. Actually, never mind. Looks like there are people coming up from the sewer stairs, which is one of the main areas that the people from the lower in the airline 
airlock areas can come upstairs. Oh, that's a grenade. Actually, you know what? I'm just not going to fight these guys right now. I'm going to go get my farm manifest objective done because I'm dedicated to showing you guys what the next objective is. All right, let's check out that report real quick. And now we'll go mangle some marauders. Now remember y'all, every time you peek, you just want to do a couple shots, run away, reset, using that time and that peek to figure out what information you can gather, what guns they have, what armor they have, how many of them there are, etc. And guys, if they have strong guns, don't repeat the same spot like I just did. Now I'm using this opportunity to run away and heal because I've taken quite a bit of damage as well as to try and draw in my opponent, see what kind of information I can get from them as well as give them the opportunity to think that they're going to totally wipe the floor with me. And I think I was able to draw them into a situation where they weren't expecting me to turn around and shoot them and I was able to get the upper hand and win the fight. Oh yeah baby, that's sweet sweet meth. Let's go. All right, so we're back on our mission again. We were actually pretty close to the farm airlock, which is the only airlock that is up in the middle area of the map. All right, so we'll finish up that farm report that we needed to and keep on our merry way. Another great little tidbit of information right by this farm report is actually two secret stashes side by side. I would always check this little area just in case there's a cheeky bugger up there, but dig in baby. Dear Diary jackpot. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the farm airlock up here. It's the only airlock on this level. It's very advantageous to get this one, but uh, generally you're pretty exposed if you come in through the airlocks. A lot of people can set up, wait for you, and can spring a trap. If people are breaching in before you, there's a couple of breach spots in this area, and they can definitely set up and make your day really tough. Just to our left here, there's a breach spot. This is a really good spot to breach into because you've got yourself... Oh, hold on a sec. You've got yourself a sweet secret step right on the wall. This is the third of the three secret stashes that I've been able to find, but uh, let me know in the comment section below if you find a fourth. All right, so now we're in the reactor area. This is where you can see all three levels of the map pretty easily. Unfortunately, the map is not completed in terms of the top part of the map, but you're not really missing too much other than a good view. There's not too much loot up there. Um, the reactor is in this middle part of the map, as we'll be showing you in a second here, and there is a couple of lootable spots. Um, there's a black purse as well as a blue toolbox. But for now, we're going to head over to workshop where there's a couple of lootable areas. There's a lockbox up here. Pods are just to the left here. Heading up towards recreation, there's another lockbox just in this chain link fenced area. Also a great location for peeking into the middle recreation area. So you can see that there are people coming up the stairs. Also, it's a main juncture to get to all the different areas, the bridge, the farm, hibernator, etc. All right, now we're going to head to the upper deck area to show you guys the advantageous spots you can set up in farm. There's a couple of higher up spots where there isn't much loot, but it's a great advantageous spot to be watching and waiting, seeing what's, what action unfolds beneath you, um, and generally just like a safer spot. There's only so many ways to get up here, um, so it's generally a good defensible spot for you and your team. This is also that cheeky spot where you can see the two stashes down below, as well as there's a blue toolbox right there. All right, and we're going back downstairs towards farm airlock and to another one of our impending victims. Hey, better luck next time, bud. All right, so we're back in reactor. We're going to go ahead up to that main control room. It's kind of a bit janky, but uh, you just have to go where I didn't go, which is all the way back up here. <laughs> 
come through this area where the secret stash is, go around, then you got yourself that one access point towards the center and the control room area. Not sure who the designer was in this Marauders universe, but they definitely had gaming in mind when they made this. Also, an open sewer in a ship? Come on guys, you're just asking for dysentery. All right, so we're heading over to the hibernator armory side of the reactor. And now we're gonna head down to the lower level. So we're gonna just change maps here one sec. Okay, so we're gonna start at the very bottom of the map in the lower part here, and then turn ourselves around and get going. First thing that comes to mind is checking this foot locker. I believe there's two or three of them down in the sewer area. Maybe there's only a couple upstairs. So these are the main objectives for the downstairs part. There are several areas that can lead us out of the sewers. We got ourselves the pipe here that leads towards leg two. If you're in this area and you're hearing gunshots fairly close to you, it's likely going to be at farm. So go upstairs to your right here. Also, at the top of these stairs is actually a cart with generally high tier loot just sitting on the cart. I've seen backpacks, I've seen BARs, different things like that that are going to be in that location. Okay, so now we're in the main waste zone. This is definitely the Thunderdome. This is where most people congregate and then have their firefights. I've definitely noticed that a lot of bodies usually accumulate in this area. So definitely check this area out. Try and figure it out for yourselves. Figure out exactly what you're looking at here and where to get around and the stairs that lead upstairs because generally that's going to be a bit of a refuge compared to this area. This area is the Thunderdome. I can't express this enough. All right, and now we're heading to leg one, another one of the airlock locations. Again, try to get out of this area as soon as possible. It's a pretty big disadvantageous area to be sitting around. Also, if you hop over this railing and you fall down into that leg area, you are trapped. There is a glitch. You can fall through that railing as well as get stuck down below. And guys, if you're coming up here for some loot, don't worry about it too much. You got yourself a food can, there's a cardboard box, a green compact container, very low tier stuff. So try not to get stuck looting in this area, okay? It's really dangerous. So that main stairwell that I was telling you guys about that most people take to go up towards recreation is up these stairs where it says upper deck. All right, you have a choice. When you come out these stairs, you go straight, you're gonna to go towards the farm. If you go right, you're going towards the pods. And if you go left, you're gonna to go towards the higher tier loot area, the vault, the bridge, etc. Okay, actually I lied. This is where the cart is above those leg two slash farm stairs that I was telling you about, where there's high tier loot. And one last little tidbit before we go, just underneath the reactor area, there's a stairwell that leads you down towards some more loot. It's kind of craftable items, what you would normally find in a lockbox, but it doesn't need a lockpick. All right, and now we head back to the pods from this area. Maybe try to slow down the video and see maybe where I would go or anticipate which turns I'm gonna make based on the map. And let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the uh, love and support. I'm glad I was able to give you guys another map video. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make. It was super quick actually, which I was kind of happy about. And another huge shout out to the map team, Atu especially for making this map happen and for giving the more information to the Marauders in the universe. All right, guys, check me out on Twitch. Don't forget to hit up the Discord. There's a link below for the maps. And yeah, see you guys again real soon. Ciao for now.